and welcome to a day in the life with a Finnish university student. I'm Sini, I'm 27 and a master student at University of Helsinki. I start my morning with some basic bodily hygiene, like a shower, skincare, from where on I move to dressing up. I chose the most comfortable pants as I knew I'd be sitting down for hours in the library this day. For breakfast, I had some rye bread sandwiches and an apple, as well as cold brew. In the morning, I had to do some last-minute prepping for my master's seminar, as I had to present my thesis idea in front of the whole class. Public speaking is one of my biggest fears, so being mentally prepared and having good notes is a must. <laughs> As you can see, the first attempts were a bit rusty, and I was stressing my ass off. My major is economic and social history, and my thesis investigates Finnish nobility and the house of nobility. I spent the whole morning practicing for my speech, until it was time to head to my seminar. I attend classes at city center campus, and for this seminar I headed to the main building of University of Helsinki. After listening to other people's presentations, it was my turn to present my case. Mä oon kiinnostunut Suomen aatelista ja ritarihuoneesta. Ja Suomen ritarihuone ylläpitää aatelin perinteitä ja kulttuurihistoriaa yhä tänäkin päivänä yli sata vuotta säätyvallan murentumisen jälkeen. Eli Suomen aatelio on edelleen tosi elinvoimaista. Suomessa on noin 6000 aatelisyksilöä, joista jokainen suhtautuu vähän eri tavalla aateluuteen sekä ritarihuoneeseen. We all had named opponents to ask questions and give possible critique. And here I got a good comment from mine, which I wrote down as I hadn't thought about the issue he raised at all. We also discussed some details about privacy protection and personal information of the subjects I hope to interview. Ei johtokunnan jäsenenkin nimet on julkaistu ihan täysin musta riippuvatta. Ja olen itse suostunut siihen, että heidän nimet julkaistaan. After my seminar, I had to head to a job gig as I do Airbnb cleaning as one of my part-time jobs. As I was done with cleaning, I left the key lock box outside for the next guest and headed straight back to campus. After my meal, I headed to the university main library, as it was time to actually get down to business. I officially started writing my master's thesis by creating the Word document, adding the title, and starting the first draft of the abstract. My master's seminar lasts until the end of spring semester, so the expected submission date is also in the spring of 2023, which means I still have a ways to go, both regarding the progression of my thesis and the due date time span. In addition to writing my thesis, I'm currently studying a marketing course through Aalto Open University, as I hope to apply there next year for my second master's. 
Here I was writing some mind maps for that particular course. After a couple of hours, it was time for a break, and I headed straight to the supermarket's energy drink section. Lately, I've been super fond of Red Bull's Blue Edition energy drink. With the energy drinks provided extra boost, I began to take down even more notes. It actually didn't take long for me to get sick of the library, so I decided the best thing is to head home. Home sweet home. First things first, I changed into my comfortable home pants. For dinner, I made some lousy leftover chicken fried rice. I decided to amp my mealtime up by having a candlelit dinner while watching my new favorite series, House of the Dragon. While enjoying the show, I also enjoyed a cheeky glass of wheat beer. Reminiscing Game of Thrones, I don't remember hating Joffrey or Ramsay Snow as much as I hate these bags of dirt named Egon and Amond. Team Black all the way. Watching the series has prompted me to start a new George R. R. Martin's Fire and Blood book. It's quite good, but goddamn the Targaryens and their habit of reusing so many first names. <laughs> 